For those that have been watching for a while and watching some of the episodes, you know that I had a scooter project at work. So a couple of things. First of all, that was at Microsoft. I used to work for Microsoft. I, however, don't any longer. I uh, have moved to working back uh, at home uh, for a different company. And so I don't have access to that scooter anymore. It's still happily roaming the halls at the Microsoft campus there in uh, Redmond, Washington. So, uh, however, I did acquire a scooter of my own. A friend of mine, shout out to Zach Fields, uh, got me, uh, tipped me off to this baby on Craigslist and I, I picked it up for nothing. And so a couple things I wanna cover is I wanna continue this concept of the scooter project, gonna be slightly different, but the first thing I wanna talk about is how easy it is to come across something, maybe not for free, Zach is a Craigslist wizard, but you get these for very low cost. These scooters are super expensive. However, lots of insurance companies will buy brand new ones for people every couple of years and they just look to get rid of the old one because they're not paying for them anyway. And so uh, I've got myself a, a scooter project that I'm working on and a quick update on that. I've disassembled it. I've half the seat way down. This thing's sitting about six inches lower than it normally would um, for it to be an actual mobility thing. So it can be like a little go-kart for the kids to ride. It's not super fast, but I got young kids and they think it's the best thing ever. And so uh, I'm working on that. I've got, you can see I got parts everywhere. I got to trim the, the back cowling down here a bunch so that it'll fit because we, we lowered the seat so much. Um, but one thing I did want to talk about was a little while back, I talked about lithium iron phosphate batteries and how that was a thing that I had never heard of. Uh, but then I told you guys about it in the videos. Um, I went and bought myself one. This is a lithium iron phosphate battery from BioNO Power. It is a 24 volt, 20 amp hour battery. This thing is uh, amazing. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna see how it works. I've already hooked it up, did a functional test. It runs the scooter just fine. This is replacing two old uh, sealed lead acid batteries that were on here before. And if you can hear that, I apologize. I'm sitting in my garage here. I got the heat turned on. I got kids jumping around upstairs. Apologize for the extra noise if you can hear that. But this thing, uh, I wanted to test, see how these things work, how they hold up, how long they last, things like that. Uh, because I want internet of things, this scooter at home. Now, when I was working on it in the office there at Microsoft, um, we were hooking a particle photon up to drive the actual motor. I'm not gonna be doing that with this one. I'm gonna leave the original drive controls intact. However, I wanna tap into some of those things. But I wanna see how much current does the scooter like this draw uh, when my kids are riding it, when I'm riding it. Um, I wanna, I've got some weatherproof LED strips I wanna hook up to the bottom, maybe do some like ground effect lighting, some things like that. There's lots of things you can do with a project like this. There's lots of different add-ons that you can do um, for an IoT-like uh, project. Now, this isn't super internet of thingsy, but it's more just thingsy. And so, that's something that I'll, I'll be updating occasionally. I'm not gonna do a whole big uh, how-to video and stuff like this. Just updates uh, now and then on how the progress is going here. I hope you can still hear me. My heater is like full blast furnace is going right next to me here. But anyway, uh, that's the thing. This, this lithium iron phosphate battery is very light. Compe compared to the uh, old lead acids that I pulled out, this weighs probably close to half of just one of the sealed lead acid batteries that I took out of this scooter. So there were two of those. This weighs about a half as much as just one of those. And so uh, it's a cool uh, piece of newer battery tech that I'm trying out. I will get back to you and let you know how it's working out, you know, charge cycles and things like that. But it, it seems very promising and definitely has already run the scooter once. So that's an update on the scooter project. We segued out of the, the work one. Now I've got a home one, just another project. Find yourself a project and start finding out ways to strap maker devices to it, Arduino, Particle Photon, Raspberry Pi, whatever you want. Um, lots of cool things you can do. Um, so I encourage you, again, as I always have, find a project. These things are a ton of fun. Uh, the kids love them. And uh, that's it. That's the update on the scooter project here at Daily IoT.